I'm a sucker for a good word game, so earlier this evening when I was perusing my discussion lists folder, I discovered that a few Seattle area programmers had created this in about a 48 hour period of time. This would be an MMO that uh, allows me, as well as any other player, to continually build upon tiles on a board, kind of like Scrabble, even though I can't officially say that. I'm sure the uh, people who own the uh, Scrabble trademark would be quite upset, even though the domain where you can uh, join us in this ongoing Scrabble game, or <clears throat> I'm sorry, Scrabble-like game, Scrabbly, Scrab.ly. And uh, you keep building on the tiles that you start with, and uh, I'm not really uh, in uh, the game right now, I'm just kind of showing you the idea behind the game. Uh, the grayed out tiles were uh, words created by other users. And you see this little button down here below, it says Vote KO, I'll get to that in just a second. First I'm going to flip over to Swarmation.com. And the idea behind Swarmation is that uh, all these little pixels are players from all around the world, whether they've renamed themselves or not. And we get this little puzzle challenge right here in the sidebar. And the idea is, is that before the timer runs out, we have to try to form that, I guess it would be, swarm of pixels. All right, there's another one, so i got to move it over here so I don't miss out on this opportunity. Earlier, uh, when I was playing this particular game, I had accrued over 600 points before I closed the browser window. Let's see here. Did I do it? Did not make the patchwork. Dang it! Let's keep going. Now, normally, the uh, patchwork uh, will uh, change into, let's say, Fortress or Tetris, these uh, different shapes. Again, the idea is that you have to collaborate in order to score points, and so far I don't see anybody's making a complete patchwork. There, block, that'll be easier. All right, so now we have to form a block, and it looks like we have that completed. Blocks are easy. Fortress is a, a shape that is a bit more difficult to do. Swarmation.com. So let me uh, at least complete this shape before I move on. There we go. You see? Now we're on to the next puzzle, Delta. So we have to form the Delta. <laughs> I love this game. And uh, I have to thank, uh, you know, the uh, Seattle area startup discussion list for leading me on to Scrabbly and then Swarmation. And it's all because of this, the Node Knockout. More information at nodeknockout.com. The idea of this particular endeavor was to bring developers together to build on Node.js and basically create things running simply in JavaScript that would be browser-based. And the entries list is quite extensive, as you can see. If I start scrolling through, a few games, a few services, some things I'd probably never use, and things I haven't even tried yet. I'm not even halfway down the list, and I'm just going to move on. So the idea behind doing something like a node knockout is like we did with the Tinker Storms here at Gnome Dex, uh, that we're able to, oh wait a minute, I have to try this. The Watchmaker, Let's see what this is about. Ooh, what the heck? Okay, so now I'm walking, oh look, it's uh, some uh, honey buckets, or kaibos. Don't exactly know what this is supposed to be. It's a little bizarre, but uh, all right. I'm not going to vote for them. Um, I'm going to keep scrolling down the list. See, this is the problem, is I get pulled in, and I can't help but want to play around. Oh, an old school mud with added disco? Oh, wow. This is too cool. Okay. So now I'm going to be in a mud. Oh, it looks like they're pulling in uh, some uh, Groove Shark. I better be careful there because I don't uh, actually own the license for that music. But uh, this particular site was created specifically to run within the web browser. Ooh, Simul Chart. Real time charts embedded anywhere. So this is all using uh, JavaScript, all uh, running within the web browser. Hacker News, read it now. Oh, sweet. Oh, great. The apps crashed. That's no fun. So my question is, if you have browsed the list at nodeknockout.com, 
and you find something that I haven't uh, reviewed or highlighted in this particular video, uh, leave a video response uh, showing me uh, something in here that I might also want to take a look at. I'd be interested in, in possibly playing around with uh, something else. Oh, look at that! Convert partial feeds to full feeds for people who still read RSS. That's kind of neat. Spot. Oh, zombie outback. Uh, I'm sorry, outback. Zombie outbreak tracker. Unless there are, of course, zombies in the outback right down here. I see, you know, Australia and everything. So, obviously, some stuff that's a little silly, some stuff that's a little serious, but it's all JavaScript. Pants, pants, revolution. Oh, my application. It's also like Google App Engine. Oh, that's kind of neat. Personalized news feeds from your Twitter followers. Oh, cool. Node chess, online chess. Ah, sorry, guys. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just wrap up this video here in, in just a second. I, I can't help but uh, wonder what else I'm... I'm missing here. Professional drunks? Awesome. Local food and drink specials. All this was created in about a 48-hour period of time. Very nice. Thank you, everybody who had participated in Node Knockout. Again, nodeknockout.com. Oh, prizes over here. The overall winner, solo winner, utility, design, innovation, completeness, popularity. Timbuk2, Blogger 2.0, Messenger. StarCraft 2? Oh, that ought to be interesting. Oh, made by Smule! Hey, they're quite popular when it comes to uh, app development. You've probably heard of them before. Um, these are the prizes, I guess, that uh, they're going to be giving away. And at least at this point in time, you have approximately 2 days and 19 hours to vote for your favorite nodes. Well, <clears throat> I mean projects built on node.js, this JavaScript library. Oh, look at that, Scrabbly. Eh? Nice. Oh, Jackalope. Oh, real-time web stats viewing application? Nice. Okay, I, I seriously, I gotta stop. My email address, chris at perillo dot Inflatable chum? What the heck? Browser-based editor for your web apps. Edit files to see notifications? Oh, cool. Discussing TV shows as they unfold? What the... Bit sucker. Team DB... Okay, alright, alright. You guys, check it out. Check it out. Nodeknockout.com. Seriously, I'm done. <clears throat> You're more than welcome to join me in the community of geeks, geeks.perillo.com or lockernome.net. And then, of course, we've got a chat room with a live video feed, typically talking tech, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and uh, you can feel free to join us anytime at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.